what I want to do is just a couple introductory ideas. And I'm going to put something on the, up here for you. Um, just give you some idea of some of the things that are on the table. There we are. Um, but while you're just reading that, I want to read something to you that is a better statement in my view. Climate change is real. It is happening now. It is the most urgent threat facing our entire species. And we need to work collectively together to stop procrastinating. We need to bring support leaders around the world who do not speak for the big polluters, but who speak for all of humanity, for indigenous people of the world, for the billions and billions of underprivileged people out there who would be most affected by this change for our children, our children's children, and for those people out there whose voices have been drowned out by the politics of greed. Leonardo DiCaprio, in accepting his speech, during his acceptance speech of being given the Oscar as the, um, the top dog in the acting world. And he took two thirds of his time to share that with us instead of you know, doing all the other things. So what we're gonna do this afternoon is try to look at, you know what, John, where are you? Right here. You had your diagram. I'm going to call your little thing a prism. So I want to look at that as a prism. And what we're going to do is look at four pathways into that prism. One pathway is how does nature, how does Mother Nature, over the millions of years, be able to adapt to and deal with the massive changes that the planet has, has faced? and do it over a long time so. So we're gonna talk about that. Um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, and Andrea Dutton is going to help us do that. The second to do that is look at through how nature puts all of its living systems together and we'll call it the ecological framework. How is it that we affect it and how we might begin to be better citizens and building more adaptive capacity. The third prism I wanna look at with David Cash we'll look at how do we as people, societies, individuals, working together to build more resilience in the ocean, or for that matter, for the whole planet? And then last, we ask Scott Rader, talk about how the political system, that's another prism. So those are kind of the, the four prisms we want to look into this issue of, of science, resilience, and, and the future. And so uh, Andrea is going to give us that first prism view as many of you know from there, she is a, a carbonate geophysicist. I like to call her a paleo geographer, a geologist, one who really understands the past and is going to share that because that's been the focus of her research. She's also been very instrumental in carrying her message around uh, Florida. She's at the University of Florida, and we're delighted to invite her to the forum. Thank you. 